joining me today in this video is Richard from Kenner Metal, and we're going to be talking about the Harvey One TE, one of the newest products from Kenner Metal. It's here on the table, so maybe you can just talk us through some of the new features, please. Oh, thanks, Joe. Yeah, well, what we've uh, tried to do with this tool is in the cutting tool industry, solid carbide, it's sort of very, very slow incremental changes. And what we've done with this tool is we've actually put in three major uh, patented uh, changes to the end mill. It's a four flute end mill. Uh, Harvey's our standard, what would say, uh, production end mill. Uh, it's not the lowest priced end mill, but it's it's the best for production, uh, large numbers of parts. The main changes is it's called Harvey One TE. So at the moment we, we introduced it in October last year. Um, we're going to bring in, uh, we've introduced a second part uh, this year that so the entire range by the end of the year uh, will replace the original Harvey one okay the three main changes as I mentioned um, the T comes from the top where it's got a twisted end face so that means we've got concave uh, ends to the flutes here uh, this cutting edge the, the idea behind that is it deflects the cutting forces so instead of an, a, a true 90 you're going to get cutting forces uh, at 90 degrees, mm -hmm. this sort of has the, the effect of spreading those. And what that does is this tool can, <clears throat> it can ramp at 45 degrees, no problem. You'll probably see it on the screen. Uh, we can drill or plunge with it almost like a drill. So it's very versatile in those applications. We've then got the, um, what we call the eccentric, eccentric faceted relief. Now, if, you, if you're able to look at this, it, it sort of looks like a, a 50 pence piece. But what that does, it reduces uh, the vibration in the tool. Uh, we know that carbide heights paints vibration. Mm -hmm. So that improves the tool life, it improves the um, process time of the tool and improves the cutting data. Okay, so there's a number of advantages. N number one, productivity, 100%. Yeah. But arguably tool life is going to be in increase as well Absolutely, potentially yeah. but a big one for me maybe goes unnoticed sometimes it, that's a very uh, universal tool so maybe you've got two three four five tools in your carousel that can be replaced with this one Absolutely, which we talk yeah. a lot about automation and people do forget about the amount of tools they can hold yeah so you know it can only be an advantage being this universal yeah absolutely joe i mean the the tool will cut any material ideally i would say it's aimed at steel stainless steels and cast irons that's where it absolutely performs 100%. But by all means, you can use it in high temperature alloys. Uh, titanium's no problem. But really, uh, the, the P&M case, where it, it absolutely uh, works fantastic. And you're right, you could probably, you can radial engage this at five, 10% if you want a trachoidal mill with it. Uh, you can full slot with it, as I say, up to two times D. You can see here, ramping 45 degrees, no problem. Um, so it is a completely universal tool. Uh, and as I say, the range is, is going to be huge. We've got radius, necked. We've got short, stubby ones now, uh, which are just uh, very rigid tools if that's all you need. And we're coming out in the fall launch, which will happen in a couple of weeks, uh, sorry, in August. Um, we're going to have longer versions as well. Okay, so who do you see buying this? Obviously, I know you've got lots of people buying it, but. It's a performance tool, but that doesn't mean you need to be a large manufacturer, does it? No, no, no. I mean, to be honest with you, Joe, any, anyone and everyone, um, you know, perhaps not your Freddie in the shed, but everybody else who's got to start doing milling and perhaps doesn't want a three fluted tool and a two fluted tool or a, or a tool for titanium. You can use this on, on pretty much any material in any, in any application. Mm -hmm. uh, as I say, ramping, full slotting, helical interpolation, anything. The Harvey one, it must have been one of, if not your best selling emails. Yes. And obviously, what we're saying here, this has got better. But is, is it better on both performance and tool life? Have you, have you done yeah, the analysis? Yeah, absolutely. We did our own analysis on this and uh, it outperforms it in every area. Mm -hmm. um, and and the, the third major change, I, I didn't mention that, is this, these, you, you can't see it very well, but there are chip gashes in the flutes there and that helps to cool the chip. So you can run this at a similar data to the Harvey one. And the Harvey one, the chips would be coming off blue because they're quite hot now in, it, in a steel. That's what you want. But on you run it the same data here, they're just barely going, they, they're yellowy blue because they're just not getting that hot because the tool's performing that well. What that means is you push can push it, it much harder. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you can either have perform productivity or if you want flat out performance, it, it far exceeds it. 
Like you say, uh, end mills, they're changing every day end mills, but like you say, very small in incremental steps. But here, let's say when you look at that, you look at the relief, that's not something I've seen before. This, it's almost like a drill from the top, isn't it? Yeah, maybe like maybe say, to aid yeah. with the drilling process, potentially. It's quite different to many end mills you see. Yeah, absolutely. Well, well as you said, you can plunge in with this and then you can actually start interpolating which normally I'd say is a no-no, you could break the tool, but with this, no, it's, it's fine. And like you say, there's a large range, both imperial and metric? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, in the UK, we tend to sell more metric, but yeah, we obviously, because Canada Metal is American, we've got a very large uh, imperial range as well. Sure, and how about All the coatings? Stock. I know you can't tell me exactly what, you know, the good bits, but what, what is the coating? What's available? Um, well, this is, this is our own preferred coating. It's a titanium aluminum nitride PVD coat. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but there is sort of a... a several honing processes on this. It's, it's not just those three areas, there are, there are a lot of micro geometry on sure. the tool. Uh, there's a parabolic core on that, and we have a, what we call a W flute shape, which we took from the original Harvey. So there's a lot of other things inside that tool that were not in the Harvey one. The Harvey one's still a good tool, still stand up to most tools today, but this is just a, a different ballpark really. Brilliant, many thanks for your time. Thanks Joe. That's the Harvey one TE. For more information, get in touch with Kenner Metal, and thank you for watching. Thanks.